Today we're going to be talking about both a spirit and a region, cognac. Geographically speaking, the region is situated southwest of Paris and a little north of Bordeaux. It is one of my favorite train rides. The region itself is split into six growing areas, or crews, with cognac right in the middle. Each crew has its own terroir, which influences not just how the grapes are grown, but how the cognac, which is later blended, tastes. When you look at the label on a bottle of cognac, the letters on the front are telling you how old the youngest barrel of Eau de Vie in the blend is. Remember, it has to be blended to be called cognac. The older the Eau de Vie in the barrel, the more notes from the wood it's going to pick up. So an XO would have way more notes from the barrel than a BS. Each house has its own way of blending. They also make decisions throughout the distilling process. For example, whether or not they want to add back in the heads or the tails when they redistill, or if they want to rest their Eau de Vie on the leaves. Using a tool of glass to taste your cognac helps elevate every note of the aroma. You can really experience every single thing of that cognac. When you go from VS to VSOP, already you're getting more notes from that barrel magic. Warm, toasty. Going from the VSOP to the XO, there's this silky, almost satiny feeling. The youngest barrel in a blend of VS is two years, but the youngest barrel in my hands in the XO would be 10 years old. And in that eight year time difference, or more because they don't put the oldest barrel in the blend, just the youngest barrel, it's already picked up so many more aromas and flavors from that French oak. Something that I think is really magical about how they make their barrels for cognac, they use the heart of the tree, is what they call it, the heart of the tree when they make their barrels. And the grain is totally different from American oak. And instead of charring the barrels like we do when we make bourbon, they just lightly toast them and they reuse their barrels. Some of them are in use for 50 plus years, basically until they fall apart. It's also really important to note with cognac, when they ferment the wine, they do it open and they allow wild yeast into the fermentation. So you're really getting to taste everything in that terroir, everything around you, and then the barrels take it a step further. 